Every new automotive season brings tons of novelties to enthusiasts. The tech is evolving as well as the performance. For the 2025 there are some big announcements and we've zeroed in on five vehicles that are set to steal the spotlight next year. Are you ready to uncover the next big thing? Let's go! General Motors has officially closed the chapter on the legendary Camaro, marking the end of an era and leaving the Ford Mustang as the last true muscle car standing. Dodge also discontinued its Charger and Challenger, announcing the muscle EV for the near future. But, rumors about the comeback of the Barracuda started spreading, although the company isn't giving hints about. And then, out of nowhere, a full-page ad in the car and driver magazine sent shockwaves through the community, boldly announcing the return of Pontiac. While the fine print cautioned readers not to believe everything they see, it was enough to ignite a wildfire of speculation. Whispers of the iconic Firebird pony car making a comeback spread like gasoline on a flame, leaving gearheads wondering if Pontiac's legendary nameplate is gearing up for a triumphant return. General Motors still holds the rights to the Pontiac badge and they might use the nostalgia to fuel the hype around their next big reveal. Still, there are a lot of further questions. For example, what will be tucked under the hood? How much the new muscle car is going to cost? When it will be available? The ad in the popular magazine is still a mystery. It's hard to swallow the idea that it was just a joke. After all, who would spend that kind of money for a hoax? Those behind the ad clearly have a plan, and many fans are convinced GM is testing the waters. But there's a dark cloud hanging over the excitement. The unsettling thought that Pontiac could return as an EV, potentially going head-to-head -head with Dodge's new electric muscle, has die-hard enthusiasts worried. The last thing anyone wants is to see this legendary badge reborn without the roar of a combustion engine. This was one of the hottest rumors in the truck world, and it turns out there's some truth to it. Ram 2500 and 3500 were supposed to get the Allison gearbox instead of the old ZF. The transmission will be new, but the Cummins diesel will now pair a retuned version of the ZF box called Powerline. It is built for heavy haulers that need a lot of towing potential. Properly tuned, the upcoming Ram 3500 will be able to tow more than 40,000 pounds. Cummins turbo diesel stays under the hood, but it could be upsized to a 7.2-liter beast instead of the current setup. The company is keeping details for the final stages of development and the release date, but fans anticipate the truck is about to debut as the 2025 model year. It is also time for the cosmetic update. The new heavy-duty truck will feature a bolder look, but what really matters are driver aid options that can make work more convenient. Take the multifunctional tailgate, for instance, a feature designed to make tough jobs a whole lot easier. And let's not forget the Ram box, offering weatherproof storage compartments built into the bed's side rails, maximizing utility and convenience for those who demand more from their truck. Off-road pages will be added to the power wagon package, taking the off-road experience to the next level. This unique feature offers a suite of options that makes conquering tough terrains easier by providing detailed maps of available paths and real-time data on your vehicle's condition. However, this option will be exclusive to the Power Wagon, and it won't be available for the Rebel, which blends utility with off-road capability, but skips the extra tech designed for serious trailblazers. The Uconnect 5 is updated recently and all the trucks are now getting a 12.3-inch touchscreen at the center of the dashboard. Smartphone connectivity is wireless on most versions, while leather seats are there on Laramie and higher grades. Limited is the ultimate upgrade with most advanced options the company can offer. Yes, the current Armada is the oldest full-size SUV in the market, but Nissan is finally rolling out a refreshed version, complete with an updated look and boosted performance. With the competition already unveiling their new big rigs, the Japanese company had no choice but to step up its game and bring the Armada back into the fight. You might have already caught a glimpse of the new 2025 Nissan Armada during its testing phase, but don't expect to see much just yet. Prototypes are heavily camouflaged, keeping the SUV's new design well under wraps. In some instances, side panels were removed, but that didn't reveal enough to piece together the full picture. Nissan has also been teasing us with a shadowy lineup of new vehicles, and among the more than 10 silhouettes, there's one that looks suspiciously like the next-gen Armada. We've got some clues about what's inside the new SUV. The star of the show is a 14-inch touchscreen, though you'll need to opt for the higher trims to enjoy it. Designers are focusing on maximizing passenger space, ensuring the Armada remains a comfortable eight-seater. The Midnight Edition quickly became a fan favorite and it will be kept, offering sleek, blacked-out look.
the Platinum trim will continue to top the lineup, packed with advanced features that might just give you a taste of the luxury found in the Infiniti QX80 monograph. Like its premium sibling, the new 2025 Nissan Armada is saying goodbye to the V8. While the old engine was known for its reliability and durability, it was simply too thirsty to meet modern regulations. In its place, Nissan is rolling out a turbocharged V6. The QX80 is using a 3.0-liter twin-turbo setup capable of delivering 450 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque, but it is a bit too much muscle for the 2025 Armada. The SUV is expected to get a slightly down-tuned version, delivering around 400 horsepower. However, don't count out the possibility of higher-end trims packing that full punch, especially with rivals like Toyota bringing their A-game with the iForce Max system that churns out 437 horsepower and a massive 583 pound-feet of torque. Despite the competition, Nissan isn't planning to introduce a hybrid setup just yet. The new SUV will feature a 9-speed automatic gearbox paired with the V6. The redesign of the 2025 Nissan Armada is also important to truck enthusiasts. The SUV shares platform with the Titan, a pickup that is about to be discontinued. Nissan could launch the replacement, or just make a U-turn and continue building the Titan. The Super Duty truck lineup is updated and we're looking at further plans for the Blue Oval Company. With pickup and SUV lineups packed with all types of vehicles, the only logical move is to bring back the Ford Excursion. This is the biggest SUV ever built, based on the F-250 truck, and with the recent inventions, the possibility is gaining recognition. The Power Stroke diesel is too powerful for the SUV. It's not a workhorse, but can benefit of the extra power from the oil burner. On the other hand, both petrol units perfectly fit into the stories. A 6.8 V8 is the new powertrain for the Super Duty truck serving as the entry-level configuration with 405 horsepower and 445 pound-feet of torque. There's also a 7.3-liter displacement, popular Godzilla, with 430 ponies and 485 pound-feet. The design will be heavily inspired by the Super Duty truck lineup, but there will be some features we can find on the full-size Expedition SUV, updated for the new season. The 2025 Excursion will be the most capable and the most spacious SUV in the market, beating cargo space and passengers' room of the Chevy Suburban. The downside might be the price, which is unlikely to start below $60,000. One of the most exciting minivans is going to make a huge impact with the hybrid engine. The latest model has already impressed fans with significant updates, which fans already praising. But, the company is not done with the changes and we are expecting the EHAV configuration to boost the performance and improve gas mileage in the first place. Outside the United States, this van is available with a system that combines a 2.0-liter petrol unit with electric batteries for 180 horsepower, 225 pound-feet of torque and the gas mileage of 47 miles per gallon. System based on a four-cylinder engine would only bring extra mileage, while the van would lack power, and the strong performance sells the Odyssey. Another option is to hybridize the existing V6 for the US market. The Chrysler Pacifica returns 30 miles per gallon, but it is more potent with 260 horsepower and electric range thanks to a plug-in system. Toyota Sienna dominates the segment for now with 36 miles per gallon combined and 245 horsepower from a hybrid setup, while the new Kia Carnival is expected to make 32 miles per gallon. Since the 2025 Odyssey has already been launched, the company will introduce the new hybrid next spring. Did we miss any big debut for the 2025? What are the vehicles you can't wait to see next year? Let's tag missing models in the comments section. Thanks for watching.